If you're moving to St. Louis or you're moving somewhere from St. Louis and you're looking to learn more about St. Charles County, it is a big area, pretty much a really big portion of the St. Louis suburbs north of the Missouri River. Now, if you're not familiar, this is towns like St. Peter's, O'Fallon, Weldon Spring, Lake St. Louis. In this video, I'm really gonna give a breakdown of the, the different markets within St. Charles County, some of just some overall trends in St. Charles County because it's kind of like this beast that came out of nowhere in the St. Louis area. And what I mean by that, it is a really big portion of the St. Louis Metro. Lots of people out there, lots of stuff going on, and it's actually the fastest economically growing county in the state of Missouri. So lots of people moving there from other states and lots of people moving there from the St. Louis area or other parts of Missouri. So in this video, I'm really gonna give a breakdown of just the different areas in St. Charles County, different places you have when it comes to choosing where to live and figuring out which place suits you and your family if you're moving to St. Louis. So let's get into it. This is kind of gonna be a crash course video on the market, different suburbs within St. Charles County. It is a big area and it has grown very quickly. So honestly, I mean, I have people that I've worked with who are born and raised in St. Louis, but they live in the city or the county and they're not super familiar with St. Charles County because it wasn't always a big deal. These days, it definitely is a big deal. The city of St. Louis has kind of been, you know, dwindling, not a ton of growth there, and sometimes there's economic growth, but not population growth. And sometimes there's, you know, development and real estate growth, but not always the economic growth there. Same with St. Louis County, and especially these days, we're seeing, you know, less growth in the city, you know, the hub of St. Louis, more growth towards the suburbs, and that is St. Charles County. So we're gonna talk about it in this video. Hey there, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the Living St. Louis channel. My name is Jacob Pystrup. And real quick, just gonna throw this in here. If you're moving to St. Louis, whether it's St. Charles County or somewhere else in the St. Louis area, if you want help with that process of buying a house, buying a condo, send over an email, send over a text message, get in touch with myself and my team. I mean, let me tell you, working with our clients through the YouTube channel is by far my favorite part of my job and sharing this city with everyone who is moving here and just, you know, explaining, you know, the different areas that I get to work with every day as part of my job and, you know, helping share the good, the bad, the ugly, and just what you want to know about living in these areas. Now, St. Charles County, you might not be familiar with it by the county name, you might be familiar with a part of it, like O'Fallon, St. Peter's, Lake St. Louis, Weldon Spring, St. Charles, Defiance. These are kind of some of the big suburbs within St. Charles County. And I'm gonna break down the differences between them the prices that you'll pay in each one of these and just overall what you can expect if you're living there and just from my experience working with people moving to this area, what they like, what they don't like, and just what they have to say about living in these areas. So really, St. Charles County is the suburbs. This is, you know, very Midwestern suburbs. That's what you'll see out here. It's urban in some places. There are a few kind of, you know, urbanized areas very suburban, like this is the suburbs, even the exurbs of St. Louis. You're outside the city, it'll take you anywhere from probably 30 minutes to an hour, hour and a half to get into the city, depending on how far out you go, how far west you go, because that's kind of, you know, the movement out west in St. Louis towards the suburbs. St. Charles County has a lot of that, and it's a big area. Lots of rural parts too, depending on where you go, you'll see the rural kind of woodsy feel, and you'll see the rural kind of farmlands and cornfields in some parts of St. Charles County. St. Charles. St. Charles is the name of the county, but it's also a really big city within St. Charles County. Now, St. Charles is kind of, you know, the oldest, most historic part of St. Charles County. It's also the closest to the city of St. Louis. So for people who have a commute for work, if you're going into St. Louis City, 
or Clayton, one of those, you know, centers where a lot of jobs are, then St. Charles is kind of the closest you'll be to that if you want to live in St. Charles County. St. Charles County as a whole is very suburban, lots of new development, new construction, brand new communities throughout St. Charles County, but St. Charles has a very historic center. So around historic St. Charles, Main Street, right along the Katy Trail, like this is very different from the rest of St. Charles County. It is historic, it is beautiful. You will see these 100 plus year old brick shops, stores, parlors, restaurants. It is a really cool place just to check out. If you don't live in St. Charles or you don't wanna live around you know, Main Street, definitely at least check it out for dinner or just walk around there for an afternoon. It is beautiful and it's really like a very unique place in all of St. Charles County. So that's kind of the historic part of St. Charles. The rest of St. Charles is pretty similar to other parts of the county. Very suburban, lots of new development, lots of new communities going on. You know, it's the Midwestern suburbs. That's kind of the best way I can describe it if you want to live in a, you know, big neighborhood, big subdivision, cul-de-sac around every corner, like that is what you will find in a lot of parts of St. Charles County. Next up, Weldon Spring. Again, Weldon Spring is kind of the closest you can be to the city of St. Louis living in St. Charles County. St. Charles and Weldon Spring are kind of like the furthest east you can be in St. Charles County, which means closest to the city. So Weldon Spring, similar, but in some places more woodsy, more rural. You've also got the Whitmore Country Club, which is a big community in Weldon Spring. This is also one of the more expensive parts of St. Charles County. So St. Charles County has a couple pockets that are kind of like these niche communities that are, they're special, they're more expensive, they just operate a little bit differently. Whitmore is one of those. It is a big country club, lots of subdivisions and communities that kind of stem off of it. So if you're into golf, if you enjoy that kind of community, Weldon Spring and specifically Whitmore part of Weldon Spring will put you right in the middle of that golf lifestyle. Next up, St. Peter's. Again, you know, really similar to St. Charles and Weldon Spring, very suburban. This is just kind of further west. So you're further to get to St. Louis, further from the city if you live in St. Peter's. It's a really big area, especially like if you go further up north where it gets to kind of the unincorporated area. It's a big part of town. It's suburban in some parts, rural in some other parts. St. Peter's also has some of these really big kind of industrial office parks. So lots of companies that are headquartered or at least have some office space in St. Peter's. There is also a big Amazon center in St. Peter's. So that's created a lot of jobs, lots of growth around the Amazon hub because you know, wherever Amazon enters, you will see growth that follows that. But again, St. Peter's, I mean, tons of new development, new growth. It's rent a couple times as far as just being like one of the best towns to live in the state of Missouri. And those were just public rankings based off things like income, property values, education, public school districts, and just overall happiness and quality of life. So St. Peter's, again, it is a great place to check out in St. Charles County. Right next door, you got O'Fallon. O'Fallon is gigantic. It is one of the biggest suburbs of St. Louis, if not the biggest. I know O'Fallon, I think Hazelwood and Florissant all kind of compete towards the top of, of being some of the biggest places in St. Louis, just population wise. O'Fallon, gorgeous, lots of beautiful communities. And I mean, you'll see, you know, some stuff on the older side, like 20 year old subdivisions, whether you want a ranch, a two story, a story and a half, or whether you want a brand spanking new house, new construction, I mean, new development and new construction is pretty much around the corner wherever you go in St. Charles County. Like you cannot go for a drive in St. Charles County without seeing some kind of new house being built or a new community going up. Plenty of builders to choose from if that's something you're interested in. We do have more videos specifically on new construction. Hey, real quick, sorry to interrupt. In the last few weeks since I filmed that video, it has come to our attention there is a lack of information regarding a lot of these new development projects. We've received a lot of emails, 
asking about building in these areas and it's pretty tough to find good information because the issue with new construction is that information from six months ago quickly becomes no longer relevant because things change so quickly and not enough info gets released on some of these projects. So we're gonna be coming out with a bunch more information, new videos, tours, all sorts of stuff for new construction on this channel. So there will be separate playlists. I'm talking Wild Horse Village. Inverness, Cottleville Trails, Streets of Caledonia. And the reason we're doing this is because we've received enough emails to notice there's a pattern going on. So my goal is to make this channel the go-to for new projects and new communities to keep you up to date with what's going on if you are interested in living in one of these areas. Builders pay for our fees, whether you use us or not, you pay the same price. If you want help, that's what we're here for. If you're not interested in new construction, then just disregard this part of the video and I'll get right back to it. There's a bunch of builders. There are some big ones you'll probably want to know about if you're moving to St. Charles County and some of them operate in specific markets or specific price points, but that's just kind of, you know, overall lots of new construction. Now, in my experience working with people moving to this area, sometimes if an area like O'Fallon or Weldon Spring or St. Charles is on their radar with possible suburbs, other places I've seen them look into in St. Louis County are gonna be Chesterfield, Baldwin, Ellisville, sometimes Kirkwood, sometimes Webster Groves, sometimes Wildwood if they prefer a more woodsy rural lifestyle. Those are kind of some similar suburbs. I mean, they're all different. St. Charles County is different from St. Louis County, but you know, people will often look in more than one of these areas. So if people look in O'Fallon, chances are they're looking in St. Peter's and Weldon Spring and very likely in Chesterfield and Wildwood. Just depends on budget. I mean, Chesterfield and Wildwood are similar. They're just more expensive than these places in St. Charles County. Darden Prairie, not as well known as O'Fallon or St. Peter's. And that's just because it's, it's kind of small. It's like a small municipality. It's very similar and it's mixed in with O'Fallon, Lake St. Louis and St. Peter's. I don't get as many questions about it just because not as many people know about it because it's kind of blended in with O'Fallon. So if people think of Darden Prairie, they're probably thinking, you know, similar lifestyle to O'Fallon or St. Peter's. Again, these places are very similar. Cottleville, another one. It's just kind of a smaller area on the map. Not as many people know about it. It's right there in between Weldon Spring, St. Charles, and St. Peter's. So if you're looking at Cottleville wondering, what is this? It's right in between Weldon Spring and St. Charles. So pretty similar. Cottleville's cool. It's got this really cute kind of town center, like these kind of not the main street, that's not what it's called, but it's got like these shops, coffee shop, post office, like it's a really cool kind of town center in Cottleville. And then around it, you have beautiful subdivisions. There's a brand new development, Cottleville Trails, huge development going up this year in Cottleville. So probably will get a lot of attention for Cottleville just because it's this giant development with a bunch of new houses going up. Cottleville is beautiful. Again, if you're interested in Weldon Spring or St. Charles, you're probably gonna like Cottleville as well. Now next up, continuing kind of on that Western expansion is gonna be Lake St. Louis. Now, Lake St. Louis is kind of a different ball game from O'Fallon and St. Peter's, and that is because of the lake. So Lake St. Louis is kind of a different community. It was designed as kind of this resort-like retreat outside of St. Louis. So the lake, there's actually two lakes. There's Lake St. Louis and Lake St. Louise. If you live in Lake St. Louis, I do have a video on that. The reason I bring that up is because if you live in Lake St. Louis, having lake rights is gonna be the biggest thing that people will compete for with real estate, with the homes you'll see. Like you will definitely see a breakdown in prices far more exaggerated in Lake St. Louis than in an area like O'Fallon. And that is because in Lake St. Louis, it's very sought after to live within the boundaries of the community association. So it's the CA, it's basically what gives you rights to access the lake. If you wanna to go to the clubhouse, if you want to go onto the lake and enjoy those amenities, in Lake St. Louis, you gotta live within the boundaries of the CA. So there is a map for it to show you which neighborhoods do and don't qualify. The ones that do qualify, 
there's a premium on prices there. And trust me, we've sold a bunch of real estate in Lake St. Louis. There is especially a premium on a waterfront property in Lake St. Louis. I kid you not, let me tell you, like if you see a you know, ranch, two story, whatever it is in Lake St. Louis on the water compared to the same exact house in St. Peter's or O'Fallon that maybe just backs up to woods or has a fenced backyard, you will see like sometimes a six figure price difference, I kid you not, because that house in Lake St. Louis is on the lake, it has lake rights, it is waterfront, like that is the top of the top in Lake St. Louis. Now the tricky thing here is that you can still live in Lake St. Louis, but not have lake rights if you don't live within the community association. So living in Lake St. Louis does not mean you live in the community association. So just keep that in mind. What people will do oftentimes if someone lives in Lake St. Louis, but does not live within the CA boundaries and they want to have lake rights, we've had people purchase condos, like a cheap condo, somewhere along the water that does have lake rights because there are a couple condo complexes that people use as investment properties, rent it out and the owners get lake rights. Or there are actually like these small plots of land you can buy along the CA that are like a 10 by 10 square of land that'll run, I mean, 30,000, 50,000, $70,000, depends on what you buy to have an address in Lake St. Louis that gives you lake rights. So that is the biggest thing you gotta know about Lake St. Louis. That's kind of the thing I wanna emphasize with Lake St. Louis if you're considering it. Lifestyle and everything, very similar to O'Fallon and St. Peter's, but the lake is what makes things different. So living on the lake is why people wanna to move to Lake St. Louis. I hate being long-winded, but that's, that's the key point. The lake is what makes everything different in Lake St. Louis. And I mean, just as an example, there are a bunch of new developments and new communities in Lake St. Louis, but almost none of them have lake rights. So you'll pay the same price in Lake St. Louis versus O'Fallon or St. Peter's for these new development houses because you're buying in Lake St. Louis without buying the lake rights. So that's kind of the one thing you wanna pay attention for if you're looking at Lake St. Louis specifically. And honestly, the thing that is really desirable about Lake St. Louis is that you can't really find an area like that close to St. Louis. Like there is nothing else that's that close. There's Creve Coeur Lake in Maryland Heights. There's Innsbruck, which is kind of like a resort community, an hour, hour and a half outside St. Louis. I mean, there's Lake of the Ozarks, but you don't have any other kind of resort-like community that is on the lake with these waterfront properties like you will see in Lake St. Louis that is also that close to the city of St. Louis. So that is kind of the highlight of Lake St. Louis. That is why it stands out and why it's so special with people moving to the area. Now, next up and pretty much the furthest out west you can go is Wentzville. So Wentzville is again, a really big portion of St. Charles County. At this point, I mean, you're a good 45 minutes minimum outside of St. Louis. Depending on where you live, you could be an hour, hour 15 minutes outside of the city of St. Louis. Plus with traffic, whether you take I-70 or I-64 to get there, it might take you a while just to get into St. Louis if you choose to live in Wentzville. That being said, very suburban, tons of new stuff being built, and sometimes at cheaper prices than you'll see for the suburbs closer to St. Louis. So, I mean, I've had a bunch of people, you know, looking at these brand new houses in Wentzville in, you know, maybe the mid 200s for some of these, like if you wanna spend 250, 275 on a brand new house in Wentzville, you can't find that in O'Fallon or St. Peter's. So if you're willing to sacrifice going outside the city more and more, but to get a newer built house for cheaper than you'll find close to the city, Wentzville is where it's at. So the ones I've mentioned so far are kind of the biggest suburbs within St. Charles County. The further out you go, there are some other towns you wanna to know about. You just get more rural, more removed from the city, less suburban and more woodsy, rural kind of farmland. So beyond Wentzville, you could look at Forestell, which again, similar, there's new construction, there's new stuff going on. It's just more rural. You're driving through the woods, through the farm fields to, to get anywhere out in Forestell. 
Flint Hill, same thing. It's kind of a smaller, lesser known area right next to Wentzville. Again, it's just kind of, you know, further removed from the city. St. Paul is another one. I oftentimes forget about it because I think of it as just kind of like an extension of O'Fallon. St. Paul though is like far up north. St. Paul is just more rural, more remote. This is more like farms, cornfields. You know, that's the kind of rural you'll see here, whereas place like Defiance or New Melly is more like woodsy rural. St. Paul is more like agricultural cow pastures, farms. That's what you'll see in, in um, St. Paul. Beautiful homes, a lot of these communities that are kind of private, they're kind of up there secluded in St. Paul. Beautiful area, but again, just not as widely known and not as popular because it's kind of more sparsely populated. It's kind of spread out, kind of rural, but that's what you will find in St. Paul. Now, going back closer towards St. Louis, you could look into Defiance. So Defiance is right there next to Weldon Spring and St. Charles. Definitely, you know, a place you might want to look into if you still want to be close to St. Louis. Defiance, though, is very different from Weldon Spring and St. Charles. It is woodsy, it is rural, it's kind of like, you don't see these big developed suburbs in Defiance. You see these kind of more remote neighborhoods in the woods where the houses are acres and acres apart. You do not have these master plan communities where you're sitting on top of your neighbors. You will be spread out if you want, you know, a, a piece of land and a house backing up to the woods on a big piece of land all to yourself, that is easy to find in Defiance where you're not really gonna see that as much in O'Fallon or St. Charles where it's just more dense, it's more suburban. Defiance, you can find that absolutely. You will see, I mean, these big, beautiful custom homes being built with people who want, you know, a five acre piece of land, a big backyard, they wanna back up to woods or have you know a, a, a small pond on their property. You can stock it with fish, hunting, fishing, like you will see more of this just kind of rural living in Defiance. Same thing with Augusta and New Melly. So that's kind of, you know, you go further west past Defiance. Again, this is the more rural part of St. Charles County. You're further from the city, you're not gonna have you know, a bunch of neighbors on top of you in these master plan subdivisions. It's more rural, you're driving the back roads to get there, you'll drive past the wineries, past the vineyards, especially in Defiance and Augusta. A lot of um, wineries out in this area. I mean, if you wanna go wine tasting, have a party, have a get together, they will do weddings, all sorts of really fun stuff down there. Don't get me wrong, these places are beautiful. They are gorgeous and there are, I mean, some of the most exquisite houses in St. Charles County will be in Augusta or Defiance. It's just a different lifestyle if you're moving out there. So just think about that, you know, how suburban versus how rural do you wanna get? Because there are places you can be very suburban and there are places you can be very rural, like in the middle of nowhere, if you live in St. Charles County. So just keep that in mind. If you're someone who enjoys being, you know, close to your neighbors and, you know, a five minute drive from the grocery store or Starbucks or Target, you're not gonna find that in Defiance or New Melly or Augusta. So there you have it, really just kind of your basic intro to St. Charles County. You watch this whole video, you will have a pretty good grasp of different areas in St. Charles County, the real estate there, and just what you get for your money in these different areas. And again, like I said, if you're moving to the area and you're trying to figure out the right place for you in St. Louis, and you're stressing about finding the right suburb, the right neighborhood for you and your family, I get it, I know it is a lot to manage and you wanna make the right choice, obviously. So if you want help with that process, like I said, send us an email, send us a text message. We are always here for that. My team and I love getting to work work with new people moving to and from the area. So contact information right there below, that number, that email, that is how you reach me. So thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Again, if you have you know another area you wanna you know, learn more about or listen to, I do have a lot more specific suburb videos on this channel, so go check those out, up to you. But thank you for watching, if you made it this far, I will see you in the next video right here on the Living St. Louis channel. So take care and I will see you next time.